they are approaching the gate now so no more kidding around jared this is serious <laughs> stuff <laughs> yep ah lord break well dude break well yeah that's just it this is always the scariest part no matter who you who you're betting this year especially but no matter who you're betting the first the first break from the gate is just terrifying because you can get slammed and you're done real quick and i mean the whole thing about it is it's going to happen to somebody yep yep there's someone there's there always is. always a story of someone had a bad trip bad break bad gate whatever like it happens every year yep yep well, with our horse, he's got to get out of the gate. There's no, there's no if ands, buts about no. it, man. He's no. got to break, and he's got to break well. If he does that, again, you guys, we're we're going to be, we'll be telling you what's happening in the race. We're giving you our live reactions here. I'll, like you said, Aldrin, we'll know here pretty quick if, uh, at the very least, he's got a big time chance to win, or if it's no chance. Yeah, or if we've wasted a, our time the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. This is always the scariest part. Everybody, uh, good luck, everybody. Their bets. My, I'm a nervous wreck. It never ceases to amaze me how nervous I get for these big races, but yep. here we are. They just showed D. Wayne. He's probably chill as could be. He care. Yeah, he's not nervous. Why? Oh, well, yeah. this is 70th race, probably. <laughs> One yeah. to go, and we are going to run this thing. One more horse left. I'm watching it is 17 and hope he doesn't stumble. Yeah, I know. Me too. Just get out of that gate, big boy, or little guy, whatever he is. Yep. Come on. Open that thing. Right, 11. Forever Young yeah. being the last one into load. Yeah, well, the epic ride. They still don't have him in yet. Oh, They're see, moving yeah. him to the gate now. So, hmm. anxious moment. Seventeen hadn't moved it all out of the gate, so that's good. Okay, they're all in line. Come on, JV. Good. Oh, he popped up. He hopped. He's he's all right. He's okay though. Yeah, he's fine. He recovered. Yep. All right. He's narrowing it in there, going inside. Oh, he's okay. There you go. Good, good job, Bianca B. Good job, buddy. It's gonna have a little bit of pressure to the outside, but just he's good. I'd like Dude, to see if, it's, if this is not this is about as close as the Ny Nyquist first run as we were watching earlier. He has no excuses. We said, same, hey. Same similar pace set up. It's very quick early, but he got it in that position. Track Phantom setting the fractions just still. That's a little surprising right there as well. But listen, he's got listen, no excuses from here, guys. No, no the two horses he's with, he's better than both of them. That's the good news. Yep. Come on, dude. Who is that? Uh, Strongholds up there close. Yeah, and the threes up there close. This pace is not fast. He should be able to be just fine. So let's just hope he's the horse, guys, because it's a great trip. It's, the, I mean, guys, let's just not forget he is immensely better than anyone in this field when he runs his best race. It's all we need to see here. Come on. There he goes. Just fire. Just fire from here. Come on. Who's this one coming up on the outside? Oh, no. Come oh. on. No. 11. Johnny, come on. He's getting swallowed up, guys. Yep, he's beat. God damn it. Oh, he's it's got hit. He is. Hit again. Knocked it's inside. Mystic Dan on top. I'm. Oh, Mystic Dan's ahead. Mystic Dan is ahead. I'm never going to hear the end of it if he wins. Forever Young is coming on strong. Can Mystic Dan? Here comes Sierra Leone. It's going to be tight, guys. It's going to be really tight. I uh, think it is. He got it. I think Mystic Dan. <sighs> he won it. My bet. One of my best friends picked that horse. I told him it was crazy. Wow. <sighs> 
final time for the race, 203.34, a very, very slow Kentucky Derby. Mystic Dan. Mick the Pete sweeps the Oaks Derby double. double. Unbelievable. Wow. If you bet Forever Young, if you bet Sierra Leone, you want to puke right now. Yes, you do. They fired. They were bumping each other the whole stretch. If you watch these two horses fighting it out, and Mystic Dan, the three horse, holds on. And look what's behind him, catching Freedom in fourth. It's a it's a try. It's an exacta. It's everything. If Mystic Dan is out of it, that was unbelievable. Slow-mo here just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it is oh, the hey. three. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Hold on. This could be the two. Could a be. wicked bob. Yep. Wow. If this two got up, I have the exacta. I was watching NBC. I am watching it. I don't think they know. If the two gets up, we have the exacta in the... Uh... Just a bad bob. Guys, this is wickedly close. Man, you just missed this crazy good race. Oh, you can't tell. 17 still running, yeah. Was it the three or the two, guys? I don't know. I like it was a three. Look at this right here. Seven. I think it's oh. three. Oh. I think it might have been the three, guys. I do, too. Yeah, yeah it might be the three. Oh. Just. Wow, Tell that you what, that inside crazy. horse is close, too. I mean, he's not there, but. Oh. I believe it's the three. I think he got it. I think the 11 and the two caused themselves to lose by just banging into each other the whole stretch. I do too. That is disgusting. They're showing the three right now. Yeah. It is the three. Mystic Dan. It is not official. It is not official, but Mystic Dan, it looks like, has won the Kentucky Derby. The jockey just uh, acknowledged it. He just saw it. I don't have a lot of words. Right nope. now, especially considering I had that exacted the other way, I just whew. oh my gosh. Well, hopefully, I had some. If some people that played in the Bible, I did. I did the the Holy McPeak du double, and I told yep. I told you to play the McPeak double, which I thought was insane. It freaking hit. Well, we now know he doesn't need to slop. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's. They just showed the slow mo. It is so tight. Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. Okay. They they still are saying it's unofficial, but they're interviewing McPeak. I think he's got it. He I tell you what, that, he came up that rail and just shot past him. Yeah. What does what is McPeak uh, feeding these horses right now? <sighs> My goodness! Like to come out of nowhere and run. Not only did he win, but he won with. Mystic Dan, who, by the way, guys, was awful last time out. Yes. And he just kind of got to, like, I need to watch the trip back. Where did he sit midway? Yep, there you go. Three, I think two, he was 11, on that rail 14. all the way. T.O. Password gets fifth. The Japanese finished third and fifth. Oh, my goodness. It's pretty good. Poor it Chad Brown, too, guys. Poor <sighs> Chad Brown, who, yet again, is not getting... Got that win, and golly. Oh. Did, okay, so again, there's so much to unpack here that, you know, a 20-horse race, you got to watch it multiple times. But did, did Sierra Leone, where was he? I was watching Fiercest pretty much the whole time. Where was he? Where did he come from? Did he come from the clouds? It looked to me like, and I'll have to watch it back, he, got, he just kind of stayed back, got a wide trip, and made his run. Um, yeah. Him and him and Forever Young were closing, and they were pretty much together the whole stretch. And it seemed like uh, Sierra Leone Young was, or, uh, Sierra Leone was a little bit wide, and Forever Young was right there with them, and they just kind of bounced off of each other. Um, wow. wow. Well, that's one I would have never picked. Just would never have picked that horse. I, I. Uh, 100% if I bet Sierra Leone or Forever Young, I would want to absolutely throw up. I mean, 
they ran too good to lose. I mean, yeah. Listen, <laughs> Sierra Leone ran his eyeballs out. He, he did. You know, Halterman, I, I, w- <laughs> here's the, here's the sickening part about it all. I pretty much used the two. I didn't pretty much. I did use the two in every single thing I could do. And what did we do? We put the two in second. Yeah. We did not use the three. No. But the whole, I just knew that Sierra Leone was going to run his race. Yeah. And didn't think it'd be quite good enough. I did not believe Mystic Dan. I mean, we had the 11 and third. We had two in, in second. Just never believed that Mystic Dan could run that race. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, again, I used them in a few spots underneath. I had a two seven. If you guys played the Bible, I had two seventeen over three seven eight fourteen eighteen. So two gets up, we hit the exacta. That thing pays stacks. But uh, if you I had to, a, I had a two two eleven a two four eleven uh, yep. uh, box exact as well. So two eleven would have paid around you know eighty bucks probably. So that's just a. It, you know, it's one of those things, uh, guys. I really thought Fierce was winning the race. I thought the Me race too. was over, and he did not run. And when that happened, it, it became wide open. But I, I did not think Mystic Dan would be the one to do it. I, I I'm really curious to see all the trips back. I mean, because that was he got was on crazy. that rail. And he just scooted right through there and shot too far ahead for the rest of them to catch him. Yeah. Don't you think that fierceness has got to be three or four ahead when he comes to the home stretch? If he's in there know. with any horses close to him, I don't think he fires. Yeah. That's what no, it looks like today. Yep. He never could down the back stretch, he never could get separated far nope. enough. Nope. And I don't know why, because the pace was not fast. Yeah. No, he, he didn't have to go too fast. Well, that was the thing. When they were setting the fractions, I, th- I just thought in my mind, there's he's not losing this race. He looks great. He ranges up, and it's like, okay, go go, go get him, and he just did not he at didn't. all. That, um, listen, you, we talked about this on Blinkers Off, and, and it's like, listen, if he breaks and gets in his position, it's like then after that, it's just like, well, the, he either runs or he doesn't, you know, but if you would have – if you would have told me he was gonna where he was gonna be sitting when they hit the far turn, I would have bet him a hundred out of a hundred times. Yeah, me too. So yeah. you know, I, again, we we showed you guys the night Ny- the Nyquist replay from 2016, and what did we say? Like the early in that race, it was it was spot on, dude. He broke. Mm-hmm. He got in a position. He didn't rush to the lead, but he got in a good position. He set off. He set outside. He was wide. No, I mean everything about it was exactly like Nyquist until Nyquist kicked, kind of ranged up, and you could tell midway through that turn you were in trouble because he yeah. wasn't pulling away like he like he's done. Yep. Yeah, I mean you could hear us go, "Oh no, he didn't, he didn't fire." <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he made that turn, he quit, or he just didn't have it, or whatever. Oh, what a brutal! I think oh, he gets intimidated. The pick five gets beat out by a no i just thought about that oh pick five's alive to a big time payout if mcpeak beat you yeah yeah mcpeak beat us twice yeah this uh this uh, weekend <laughs> beat us twice out of out of significant payouts mm. Is Chad Brown the goofiest looking guy you've ever seen? God, he's a strange looking. He doesn't look like a horse trainer, does he? Yeah. Listen, I I do want to give props to the, uh, you know, Sierra Le- Leone running that way didn't necessarily surprise me, but props to John and all the Forever Young backers because Forever Young ran yes, he his did. eyeballs out, frankly. And uh, I thought he looked, you know, really, I thought it was going to be him or Sierra Leone. I just didn't know which one it was. But uh, yeah, I mean, he, both of those horses, the two and the eleven, ran way too good to lose. Yep. Yeah. They yep. Did. Yep. Uh, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I I feel awful for John White right now. I mean, awful because yeah. that has to. He's. I, 
I don't even I don't even want to text him right now because I know how terrible he must feel because he yeah, had let him text us. Yep, he had a boatload there. So that would have been a big time score. And boys, did it not feel like it was gonna happen? You just kind of the whole stretch I thought, I think they're gonna get there. I think they're gonna get there, you know, and they just couldn't get him. I mean Shoddy, by the way, you I know you a bit you were oh, also yeah. on Forever Young. Um so you know, I, I'm a great call. It's just it sucks. Um listen, I I don't have a lot of answers for what fierce what happened to fierceness. I don't necessarily believe that we are overrating um at, like the Breeders' Cup because like like these horses came back to win. Muth is very good. He denihilated Muth, and not only did he do it that time, he also won the Florida Derby. I mean, this is a horse that put up crazy numbers. It's like, I don't know. I mean, this looked a lot, Halterman, this looked a lot like the Holy Bull, yeah. really, where he yeah. kind of, yes, he had a bad, a little bit troubled start in that race, but in ultimately he had, was in the position and just had nothing mm-hmm. left in the lane. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, he got, I don't know where he, he may have finished 15th. I don't know. He backed he up something fierce. Pro, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, People are asking official order of finish mystic Dan Sierra Leone um, forever young catching freedom. That was the top four. You see in that photo. Oh my goodness. That's close. Wow. (sighs) Man. I just hate, uh, gosh, that's just crazy. I hate that. I hate that the pick fives beat because of that. I mean, that is just, gosh. I'm telling you, when we watch this back, I haven't watched it yet, but when we watch this back and we see how the eleven and the two were just bumping at each other the whole whole stretch. We're gonna <laughs> the people that had them on the nose or the pick fours or the du- or doubles, whatever. You're gonna be sick because I really think the two and eleven cost each other the race, and I don't know whose fault it is. It may have been both, but. I mean, wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. It is. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, two was a much better horse, but Mystic Dan wasn't in much better position on a post than two was. So. Well, that's the thing, and I, I really want to see these trips back and see his trip as well. Yeah, yeah I do. Um, we got Ryan Stillman. We want to bring Ryan in? Yeah, I think it's time. We need some, maybe he's always positive, so I'd like to hear. Rhino, Rhino can take my place. Okay. All yeah. right. See you guys. See ya. Okay. See ya. Two dollar exacta, by the way, pays two hundred and fifty eight dollars for the two. Or, I mean, sorry, the three over two exacta. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, Ryan. Hey guys. How we feeling, Ryan? Well, I got to tell you, that is one of the most exciting Kentucky Derbies I've ever seen. You guys have to admit that no matter if you have money on it, that photo finish is it's like, you know, like, let's say you're casual and you just tune into this. My phone blew up from people that like just follow one race a year. Like that was incredible. So that's a positive and exciting. Another thing is you guys tell me too. We've had years where it's like uh, this trainer's got a sorted past or this. I, I don't hear that about McPeak as much at the forefront of this. That's a huge, you know, congrats to McPeak. A guy who picked out Curlin, a guy, you know, these things he's been through to get to this moment, right? Like, oh, he can't ever win at this, this, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about when it comes to McPeak's narrative, right? I'm not just going crazy off here. Yep. Just, it's it's his weekend of a lifetime. Um, But, oh my gosh, guys, we're seeing something pretty spectacular here. And I just want to point it out. First of all, forever young. (laughs) My gosh. Right. I mean, like whether, wherever you stood on that horse, he ran good enough to put himself in. The, right, Jared, I've seen you. Jared, why don't you take it? What was your thought there? Just no, like, yeah. I mean, we, we mentioned it a second ago, uh, just a little bit where it's like, listen, if you I, I gave props, props to John, and anyone that, that really supported this horse because he outran what I expected. Uh, you know, yeah, I played him on top and a few things, mostly just as a defense play because but I did not believe he ran a, a race at least in this class, good enough to win. He just didn't, he's got a little unlucky, but he, I mean, he was, he kind of lived up to the billing, especially when you look at some of the horses in the race that absolutely did not fire just a touch. Um, I mean, catching freedom ran his race a little bit, but Dornick, I mean, fierceness, I mean, the list goes on. Like he, he had the billing and he lived up to it. Absolutely. Um, Sorry, Aaron, did you want to say something before I, 
Uh, I'm getting reports, and again, we haven't seen it. We haven't seen the replay. They will show it here in just a second after the celebration. I, a lot of people have texted me and saying Forever Young got killed out of the gate. I don't know if that's true or false, but I have uh, people telling me. Paul texted me and said he got Forever Young, got a terrible trip. So we'll see if that's true or not with our own eyes. I know it's kind of hard when we've only seen it once. But, uh, yeah, uh, just, uh, man. Well, can you throw? Do you have? It's okay if you don't. Do you have that picture of the photo finish up by any chance near you? It's okay if not. But I, I, I don't need the visual to make my point. If not, but I think I, J- Jared has it. I think he, he put it up. But that may have been. You, want the, the, yeah, you might throw that up one more time. Sorry, the, the editor the, that lost out here. Just yeah, yeah. Hang on. Bring up kind of interesting point here. When when I'm, I'll say this in the meantime. What what I think is fascinating is, you know, with Forever Young in particular, this is a horse that traveled three continents, had some very big miles put on him. Uh, so if he gets bumped out of the gate, too, and that's the difference there, what a horse. Like, I just, we got to take tip our hats off to him. I mean, we, we saw three horses, no doubt, that ran a good enough race to win a Kentucky Derby day, guys. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, Sierra Leone, for where he drew, that could have been the whole difference here. I haven't seen the race more than once, guys, jumping on first time, but absolutely incredible. He hauled you know, called ass to get to where he got. And, yeah. you know, it's just people saying like, what would cost him is his, he's going to have to come through traffic. He won't get there. I mean, that's the difference. If someone tells you that's how close he would be, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot there. One thing I just want to point out though, like that I came on to talk about, and it's something that's stuck in my mind as they hit the wire last year at the Kentucky Derby. Oh. Last year, two fills comes to my mind. Oh, Aaron, are they showing up something? Yeah, they showed the replay. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Brutal. Last year with two fills, I remember in the buildup to that derby where we kind of understood the shape of this thing and horses just kept str- scratching out and you didn't, at least me, I didn't know exactly where to go. And then I went back when two fills came in second and it was like, he ran one of those races where you're like, that was good enough to win the derby. And I should have just focused more on that. Uh, be, be, I feel like Mystic Dan, my whole point here is a thing to keep noting is, you know, Mystic Dan did run one of those races, you know? This is as shocking as for some people this might be or unexpected because he ran about third. We had seen before it touted that it is possible this horse could run a good enough race. Uh, What it might have taken to get there, and this is taking nothing away from him, Fierceness clearly, I I do think Fierceness is better than 15th in a Kentucky Derby, wherever he finished back there, right? So Mm -hmm. the point is, I think there was a lot of things about what happens if this this, uh, race falls apart. And look, Forever Young, Sierra Leone, Catching Freedom, those were the next big logical three there. And Mystic Dan kind of makes sense. So what I'm trying to get at is I think this was a very formful derby. We're like, this isn't like Rich Strike where we're like, I hadn't seen that ability in this horse prior to the race. We had kind of seen that with Mystic Dan. Am I, am I right, guys? I mean, as far yeah. as we might not like want to go throw down money on it when there's all these other options. But I just think this was a solid derby where like a logic kind of prevailed here. Well, what do you guys think? That's what I came on to sort of discuss. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he's shown those two huge races. He had a huge uh, win in a maiden special weight. He had a huge race in the Southwest and he's thrown in a lot of clunkers as well. That's the thing. You know, he, he's kind of been an up and down horse his whole career as well. And today was the up part. And as it turns out, uh, I, I guess at the end of the day, it wasn't the slot that moved him up. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, just the fact that when he fires, he's pretty darn good. And I think the other part of it is fiercest didn't fire. The closers didn't get through, probably didn't get good trips. We're going to analyze that here in a minute when they show us again. And so somebody has got to win at that point. And maybe he was the one that just kind of got the best trip. They did not, break the the tote board as far as the time today the timer is 203.34 it's a very slow kentucky derby there's no doubt about that so we'll just have to see uh you know kind of what happened in this race and break it down but he had shown um that he he had shown uh, that ability before there's no doubt about it we'd seen it just hadn't seen it really on a fast track like this I've not seen the order of finish. Everybody that's asking um, exact. So what, when I see that, I will, uh, I'll show you guys, but yeah, I mean, listen, let's just, I don't know the number's going to come back obviously yet, but given that time, what we saw, like I, if fierceness shows up, this thing is over, you know, it's just, mm-hmm. uh, that's the frustrating part uh, about it, but uh, he didn't. And again, like, that's the thing about that's frustrating about this result is that yes, like 
I wasn't dumb. I play, I had multiple tickets and like thoughts of, okay, if Fierce doesn't fire, he's not going to hit the board. Perfect. Great. Got it. We got that taken care of. What I didn't even ever consider was that Mystic Dan would win. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's just, it's just a frustrating result. Same as yesterday. It's like, I'm never going to play McPeak in the Oaks. Just never going to. And I'm never going to play him in the, in the Derby. And it's so it's like it, at least it's i mean i guess that is some of a silver lining like if i would have left sierra leone off for instance and he got up and won then you're like that was kind of dumb you know but this one's just more of those frustrating results that but at the end of the day it's like i mean yeah he won but i'm never using him you know i'm just never going to not on no. top anyways i understood using him underneath because i you know he made sense underneath uh, in some regards he did have the second best like of, of all the horses he had the second best race you know mm-hmm. as far as like fierce had the first two but he had like the most impressive that race that day in the southwest but then in the arkansas derby it was like what the hell was that you know mm-hmm. so it's, and then he does this today so uh, you know it, it, that's frustrating it's a very hard thing to handicap a race where the two horses with the most impressive numbers are the least, cons- you know, some of the least consistent horses in the crop. So you can't, of course, Jared, that's tough. And today, Jared, even though he showed up with his quote unquote best effort because he won the race, right? Let's just say fired. It wasn't like he was unbeatable. He almost got beat here and that's not taking anything from him. But the point is, it's hard to envision that, right? It's hard. to Like if you're like coming out of the wire, it's going to be Mystic Dan, Sierra Leone and Forever Young. You might a lot of people might not drift to, you know, the logic being Mystic Dan. But here's the weirder thing when you look at this. The number 10, T.O. Password from Japan finished fifth. I mean, I know. And, and when you start to break that down, I'm sure you guys have already covered. We're starting to see here, right? Is this the beginning of the changing of the guard as far as, well, those foreign horses have to prove it to me? Because while they didn't win, they're kind of showing us, like, we're not that far off if we send our, you know, A, A, A squad over here anymore, right? I mean... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's listen. Japan is it's they're getting closer. I mean, like you said, they sniffed this one. Even the horse that literally I thought had that you had a better chance of winning the Derby than To Password beat <laughs> most of the group. Right? That's how bad they were, or how good he was. However, you want to look at that. Mm-hmm. But uh, here, I'm watching the replay now. For the where first are you time. seeing it? So yeah, I mean, listen. At start of the the base when they hit the wire the first time. Sierra Leone is where is he? Catching freedom is pretty far back. Sierra Leone is third to last. Third to last. Third to last on the rail. Um, yeah, he's on. He's got a rail trip. Listen, what we we talked a little bit about this. Or you, me, and Papa Dude Alterman. You know, maybe he just sits the perfect trip. You know, let me go back and watch the the break. Hmm. I don't know if we, I probably, we probably can't show the replay yet. Yeah, you know, he breaks well, and then, you know, there's really no rush to get him in a position other than getting, you know, and all the horses around him. Mystic Dan went, um, and he ne- really never had any issues whatsoever. He just kind of sat back there and got the real trip. The two did. 